These are the best loadouts you should be using after the Season 4 update. Starting with the long range meta, you have 3 great builds. The DG58 is still the best long range weapon. Yes, it got a minor headshot damage multiplier nerf, and its bullet velocity got reduced by 100 meters per second. But with this build, you still have more than 1000 meters per second bullet velocity, and if you want more, use the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor, and as you can see, it still beams. The second one is the buffed NTZ556. It was already great, but with the recent buffs, it is the best AR to use, especially on resurgence maps. And if you have an aggressive playstyle, this AR can keep up even in the close range fights. And last but not least, we have a sleeper build, especially for Urzikstan. The TAC Evolver LMG moves like a truck, but it also hits like a truck. For the close range meta, we have a large pool of options. The highest TTK goes to the Akimbo WSP Stinger handgun. If you are very close to your enemy, you are winning every single fight. The problem with this weapon is that it's not effective after a few meters, and it does not have a lot of ammo in its magazines. So you do need to be strategic with your positioning in your fights, and it's probably only good for solos, maybe duos. The second highest TTK is also an akimbo build, which is the Jack Warden conversion kit on the MK2 Lockwood. With its two-shot potential combined with proper cover management, this weapon is a force to be reckoned with. But just like the WSB Stinger, it's not effective after a few meters. Now for the SMGs, you have five great options. For the best movement, you have to use the new SMG, the Superi 46. Its time to kill is not the best, but it's barely slower than the other SMGs on this list. So if you want an SMG that is effective in all the ways, this is your go-to. Next up, we have the Striker 9. Yes, it got nerfed a bit, but after using it, it still slaps. And with this build, it still has great damage at range and movement. The WSP9 got a damage range nerf, but only down to 15 meters. In other words, it's still the meta SMG. The FJX Horus got the biggest amount of buffs, and it's technically the strongest SMG right now. But sadly, the 60 round mag is bugged for me and everyone that I know. So if you want to use it, fast hands might be a perk that you will need for it. And if you don't like the iron sights, replace the rear grip with the Jack Glasses Optic. As for the last SMG, it's the Untouched Striker. Now, while some of you may argue that it has a slow fire rate, well, so does the WSP9 and the new SMG. So hit your shots and you are good to go. Keep in mind that this SMG had a massive damage at range buff last season, making it an incredibly strong sniper support as well. And out of all the SMGs, this was the SMG that broke my PR and got me 45 kills. And for the last meta loadout, we have the return of the beautiful Car 98. During the last days of Warzone 1, they nerfed the Car 98 and the Swiss and they were only a one shot up to 50 meters. With this build, it's a one shot up to 86 meters. When it comes to the optic of your choice, choose what is comfortable for you. Some people are using the higher zoomed ones, but they get more of an ADS penalty. I prefer the Corio's Eagle's Eye or the Forge Tag Delta. They have enough of a zoom for my accuracy and they don't have that much of an ADS penalty. But at the end, whatever you choose, its ADS is still going to be faster than any other sniper out there. That was it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, a like and sub are always highly appreciated.